If you want to find out about stellar news, even before I do, go follow Dr. Bones on Twitter. That's how I figured about this massive $330 million deal to tokenize a copper mine. This is crazy, guys. This went right under all of our noses. Um, what I'm about to show you is actually like on a next level scale of where we're going with Stellar. This news is just starting to come out. I, I'm telling you guys, when I did that Insider Stellar Insider video, I was showing you that, hey, they're doing some big things behind the scenes and we may miss it, but we're finding it out. So this is a massive, massive deal about the tokenization, the real world asset tokenization that I've been talking about. This is where all the money is in crypto. This is going to be the most massive, the biggest move to money in crypto, period. And we can see right here, they have a $330 million deal. Now, this company, Damrev, up here that you can see, they're actually like the they actually got a reward for the a win as the best African business tokenization company of 2023. And they're directly using Stellar. Their whole the whole system is based off of using Stellar. And I'm going to get into this like this is this is crazy, guys. Like this is next level. Um, but first, I got to talk about the news so we can stay up to date. And, and also, before I get into this, everyone's complaining the market's crashing, the market's crashing. Oh, it's everything's going to zero. Understand, guys, we look at the DXY and we can see what's going on with the market in a deeper level. DXY is crashing right now. DXY actually took a big, uh, big hit, right? A, a massive hit. So me personally, I'm not worried about this crash. I follow the DXY correlation um, and really like also the debt market uh is important to look at as well shout out gregory manorino um but i'm not worried at all okay at all in this market and xlm is discount xlm's massive discount remember i said in my video i was gonna wait five days and look we got this massive correction so it might be time for me to move in very shortly here especially with this news that's going on so let's get into the news because you guys may see price not reflect right now but look at what is being built for the future of Stellar very soon, very soon. I feel like, you know, in the next few years, because this, we're going to see Stellar just start to boom, 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 take out everything else. And we can see that they, they're planning over a 24 month period. So you guys can kind of see the the time frame we're looking for. And really what Stellar is doing is they're moving into these smaller countries where the regulation is a little bit more relaxed or they're more open to this technology. And then once they're able to build out there, then they're going to have this huge portfolio, this huge portfolio. You guys got to pay attention to go over to the US once US regulation clears to say, hey, we've worked in all these other countries, with all these massive businesses in other countries and got them to use blockchain. It's super useful for them. Now you guys can come over to uh, well, now that what Stellar is going to, be able to do is bring everyone over from the US into using Stellar as well, because they have this huge portfolio to show people that, hey, this works and then go globally, right? Where the big, big, big money is, is in the US where regulation is, is happening slowly. So by tokenizing the copper mine, Damrev will enable fractionalized ownership increasing liquidity and enhancing transparency, setting a new standard for asset management and investment in the mining sector. And this is what I've been talking about. Watch my old Stellar videos. I've been showing you guys that RWA tokenization, how it works is gonna be absolutely massive. And we're gonna have to dig into uh, this company more and figure out what exactly is going on in, in a deeper way. Cause I missed this. I'm gonna be honest guys, I'm, I completely missed this news. This news went completely over my head. Again, go follow Dr. Bones on Twitter um, and, and me as well. Cause I'll be retweeting all this stuff. So. We can see here the tokenization process will involve converting the copper mines asset into digital tokens on a secure blockchain platform. These tokens will represent the mines value, allowing investors to buy, sell and trade them seamlessly. This innovative approach is expected to attract a diverse range of investors from institutional to retail Democrats. I can't even say it. Democrating the access to valuable resources. I kind of messed up that last part there, but you guys get the point. And the point really is. What I've been saying is if you have a massive asset that you can't really fractionalize, well, once you have tokenization, you can truly, truly fra fractionalize that and you're able to, um, sorry, I have to hide this so you guys, hide myself so you guys can see this. 
So, and you're truly able to increase the liquidity massively. So instead of buying this whole thing for that's super expensive, I can fractionalize it into smaller parts and then I can get more people involved and more people can uh, buy into whether it's real estate. There's many different things. We're gonna have to go through all these different things that they're trying to use Stellar to do and take over these markets, right? And this is an African-based company. And this is the system right here. So we can see vacant land, residential, commercial, industrial, agriculture to a third party custodian gets the authenticity certificate, which then goes to the seller blockchain. And then now we have Sorban smart contracts, which is extremely important, which they're able to use right with the with Stellar now because we didn't have that before. Now we have this full stack, this full system that is nonprofit that any of these companies can get involved in. Right. Back, and we have asset backed token. So this is rare. Our, our real W.A. RWA, real asset tokenization, real world asset tokenization comes in and then the Damrev web mobile application. So this is absolutely huge guys. And we need to start paying attention to what's going on behind the scenes. Like we have to, because otherwise we're going to miss this stuff. This is saying it's going to take 24 months um, for things to actually develop here. Imagine in 24 months, if we didn't catch this right now, in 24 months, it, it may just look like, oh, wow, why does seller have all this volume? Why is seller doing all this stuff? They're doing so much behind the scenes. And I want to show you guys one more crazy piece of news with seller that I haven't gone over yet. And, and trust me, guys, I'm going to be revisiting this whole website and I'm going to be breaking down this all for you guys. I'm going to probably spend a good five hours uh, just deep diving into all this information here. I'm going to give you guys a very concise video on exactly what the RWA tokenization landscape is going to look like in the future. Because if we look right here, you guys can see a $15 trillion market value, just the real estate portion. I mean, who knows what this is going to look like in the future. But we know for a fact, what we do know is all the big firms, all the big institutions are trying to move into tokenization. And why wouldn't you? Just any person who you explain this to and can think logically is obviously going to realize like, oh, yeah, obviously tokenization is going to be a huge thing. I'm able to fractionalize ownership. Like imagine if I was selling this microphone. Well, it's, let's say this microphone, I'm selling it for $200. Okay, I have to sell this whole physical microphone for $200. But imagine if I could tokenize it and then people could buy portions of it. And then if the microphone goes up in value, then each portion that you have of the microphone also goes up. So then when it, oh, the whole thing sells and moves positions, then all the people who have tokenized ownership over the microphone are able to, you know, lay claim over that and make profit from that. So tokenization is huge. It's going to it's going to be in everything, guys. It's, it's going to be a massive market. So now let's go to the last final piece of big news that we have here. All right. So opening up. DMs between me and Dr. Bones. I got to put on my headphones so I can also hear what you guys are hearing in this. Um, he says, everyone went nuts about X uh, on X about Stripe using certain blockchains. And months later, SDF just casually says they're involved with Stripe and that at the end of the quarterly call. And I listened to the quarterly. I was going to make a video on it. I haven't done it. Um, it was great. You guys should check it out. But listen to this. You know, Stripe is in the news a lot because they seem to be back in the game with respect to blockchain and crypto. And that's very exciting for us. Um, and Stellar with, will be a part of Stripe's new like pay in product. And that's not something that we've talked a lot about. But that's also something that I'm excited about. Um, and we're working closely with Stripe to hope that we can get some more stuff out the door. So. It's really exciting to see all the work that is um, happening with the team at SDF, but also, frankly, like with just the ecosystem at large, it's like fun to see things being built in a different way than we have been able to historically. So I'm just kind of super bullish on all of it. And I feel like this is our this is our year, 2024, 2025, sort of our year. Did you guys hear that? Just all this stuff is happening behind the scenes that like uh, like it's so easy to miss there's so much stuff going on with stellar because they they have it uh, they have it split up into different teams tackling different major problems and it's all transparent we're able to see it if we look for it and that's how i know that stellar's more bullish than other coins like sorry i did the hbar video and people are you know a lot of people aren't, aren't liking it most people are liking it because they appreciate real honesty in the network but if you guys want if you guys are only stellar fans and you've never heard or seen like bad bad network stuff like hedera like i'm sorry but what is going on there you know like look at the difference between this hedera gets a partnership and the partner that they've announced a partnership with won't even mention hedera it's just hedera side mentions it 
and stellar we're seeing like so much just so like so many partnerships going in where people are proud to say that they're using stellar right um it's just a different mentality with stellar and stuff like this is you just like you know stellar isn't just saying stuff just to be bullish for the coin it's a non-profit they don't make money with the coin the ceo right here that you're listening to doesn't even hold xlm believe that believe that that's true she doesn't hold xlm she holds bitcoin and ethereum but not xlm because they can't have a financial interest if they're trying to make the coin that is literally going to run financial systems they have to be very very careful so just by them saying they're bullish is like huge, you know, it's a huge hint for us as holders and not something we get very often to hear. And it's the most we're going to get, right, to be honest. So I'm going to be giving you guys more videos. We're going to be breaking down this very soon of what's going on. And uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited for the future of Stellar. I ain't even worried about this dip here. If anything, I'm getting better prices. So let's go.